I guarantee you that these three secrets that I learned from studying at Cambridge Medical School will cut your studying and improve your grades at the same time. I was competing with some of the smartest kids in the entire world but with these it was still possible to have a great social life and consistently score in the top 20%. I'm Jeevan and I spent six years studying at Cambridge Medical School to be a doctor and I'm about to go back to Cambridge to start doing a PhD in addictive behavior. In this video, I'm gonna explain three small secrets that you can do today to start making your studying 10 times better. The first secret might hurt some people and it is harsh, but is one of the most powerful things that you can do to save time when studying or doing anything else. It's not what you know. It's who you know. I only did well because I knew the right people. The crazy thing is in first year, I wasn't hanging around with the kids that got with the perfect grades. The kids in the year above that I knew, they were the ones that stayed out all night and slept in lectures. And you'd think that hanging around with these guys would completely tank my grades. But actually, these guys were expert crammers. They could pass some of the hardest exams just of a few days of study. And so I did what they told me to do, but instead of cramming, I just spent a few more weeks doing the work. And so when exams came around, I could be chill and still get good grades. Let me be clear, I'm not telling you to hang around with degenerates at school or uni. That is not a good long-term strategy. But my point is the right advice from the right people can mean that you can do all the stupid stuff that you like to do and get good grades. Make friends with older people in the same course and use the same notes and strategies that they've developed over the past year, but just use them from the start. Ever since then, every single academic year that I went into, I asked for advice and it literally cut my study time in half if not more. The second study secret might sound weird, but it is literally the core of my studying philosophy. You need to start working backwards. Let me explain. So let's say that you have a biology exam and right now you're at point A, but point B is where you know everything and you're exam ready. Most people at point A will just grab the textbook and start trying to completely memorize everything, but they stumble forwards in random directions without a plan and they waste a lot of time before they get exam ready if they get there at all. But when you start by working backwards, you take the time to find your destination first. And then you can see the straight line path from A to B. And that's the fastest route to get from where you are to being exam ready. Let's make this practical. Let's say you have an exam coming up. The next thing that you should do after watching this video is going to see all of the past year's exam papers. Do the questions and analyze all the topics that came up. It wouldn't be a standardized exam unless they asked similar questions. So when you analyze the old questions, you can see which topics keep coming up and then you can structure a vision on those. You can spend most of your time studying the ones that come up the most and ignore the ones that don't. There was a lot of content in med school, so I ignored entire topics. I didn't go to the lectures. I didn't read the notes because I'd already seen that they were only worth two marks in the exam. Think about it. It's better to know 60% of the content perfectly then trying to know 100%, but only getting it right half the time. Start by working backwards and you can go forwards even faster. The last secret is essential if you want to execute and start making progress in your study. I've seen a lot of smart people try to multitask and study everything all at once, or they go to the library and spend 12 hours a day and they still fail their exams. You need to focus on quality over quantity. Reading the page slowly, actively, and making sure that you understand everything will take you two to three times longer than most people. And I did this in uni and I felt scared at the start because it felt like everyone else was making more progress than me. And at the end of the year, even though people had seen the same content five or 10 times more than me, I did better on the exams. When you work, you need to focus properly and engage with the ideas. If you have any doubt of whether you are focusing or not, you weren't focusing 100%. When you focus 100%, you're in flow state. You lose all self-consciousness and lose all sense of time. If you are really focusing, you only have to do that one or two hours a day and you can get insane results. Once you've got the right advice from the right people and you've started by working backwards, focusing is the only thing that you need to destroy any exam in front of you. But I know that it's hard to focus these days with social media and tech all around us. So if you want a full scientific guide on how to focus, then watch this video because it has everything that you need to know to master your focus.